Hello everyone, be welcome once again to Ibai's Auto and yes, in today's video I'm gonna try to update or if you want to build an electric kit bike using an e-bike conversion kit so for those that follow my channel for a long time you know that I've already got in the channel a video on how to do a do-it-yourself electrical bike I did it with a Boilermar e-bike conversion kit the problem that I've got with this bike is that it's completely illegal. Why? First of all, because it has too much power. That means that it runs above 50 kilometers an hour. That is not legal. Okay. But basically, what you cannot have in my country, you cannot have an, accel uh, an accelerator in the handle. Okay. So normally I use this bike in off-road roads. I not use it anymore in public roads. But once I was in the train with the bike and I saw this guy, I show you up here a picture, with this invent. I never saw in my life this type of uh, bike without pedals. Those are called foot bikes or kick bikes. And I said to myself, okay, I can use the very same e-bike kit with this foot bike and make it completely or fully legal. Okay, so what I got here, I bought myself a kick bike. The model that I recommend is called Kick Bike City G4. Why? Because many things. First of all, it's one of the cheapest ones. Secondly, it's one of the most comfortable ones because of the large stem, though other ones don't have that large stem. But basically, it comes with all the equipment, with all the accessories that are needed or mandatory for a legal kick bike. So, for example, you've got all the reflectors, all the bells, all the mood guards, again also the reflector behind, everything in general. Also the kickstand, everything. That, at least in my country, that is mandatory, so you don't have to buy those ones. So the only thing that you need to buy is an electrical e-bike conversion kit. And I went with this one, with Joseph Power. Joseph Power has many e-bike conversion kits. The one that I recommend is always a 26 inch front wheel motor. Most of the kick bikes have 26 inch front wheels. Although any scooter can be up to a thousand watts. The one that I recommend is 250 watts, 36 volts, because the top speed is 25 kilometers hours. That is the maximum legal in my country, in Spain. So that's the one that I recommend, 26 inch. 250 watts, 36 volts. And I went with this Joseph Power conversion kit because it has everything I need for my conversion. And I'll explain why, okay? So you can have these kits with or without the battery. Obviously, if you buy the kit with a battery, it's much, much more expensive. But, I mean, you have everything you need. If you buy it without the battery, as I did, the controller is independent. So, what comes inside the kit? You have for a kit bike some things that you don't need. For example, you don't need the brakes. Okay, I won't be installing the brakes. Obviously, I don't want to be installing the pedal sensor. I don't want to be installing this triangle box. The rest, I will be needing that. So you have the manual. You have already a front light. You have the display for your handle. Okay. You have some some plastic uh, bridge. Okay some tools there but the most important part are these these two things and an, an independent control here which is much more better built than the Voilamar one the quality is outstanding and this thing this is a thumb accelerator okay that you cannot install this one in a, any bike but you can do it in any scooter so this is the accelerator I will be using in this kit bike and the rest, okay, you have all the cables to the battery, the cables to the wheel. So the only thing that doesn't come, that is not included in the kit are the tire and the air camera. So you need to buy a tire and the air camera, 26 inch air camera. And I always recommend to have a rim tape. That avoids having a flat tire. Now. The last thing I recommend also is to buy as independent front and rear lights 
because in my country also you need to have a tail light and a front light. So just in case I bought this one, the same that I did use in my bike. Finally, um, one of the most important parts or decision why I chose this kit bike. There's also some students, I believe it was in Canada, that designed this 3D pinned uh, Ryobi adapter for bikes. I link all the descriptions, all the information, all the uh, files in, the, in this video. But basically, with this 3D print adapter, you can adapt any Ryobi battery, you see, to any bike, whether it's a kick bike, a foot bike, or any conventional traditional bike, in a very clean way, as you can tell. Now, the way I'm gonna shoot this video, I'm gonna try to adapt, transform, or build the whole kick bike, and once I finished, I will be detailing every single aspect, any recommendation, any tip for you guys to check them out. As always, you can leave me the comments, the questions in the descriptions as well, and you can send me any information you need to info at evisauto.com. Okay? So I'm gonna put my hands into work, and in the end, I will be shooting again the results. Let's go for it. And here she is. Here is the kit by CTG4. One we updated to be electric. Okay, so let me describe what I did. Okay, first of all, I installed the Just Power front wheel, okay, with a 250 watt motor or engine. Now, the only issue here is that this, the cables are very long, okay. So I take advantage of the basket. As you can tell, all around the basket, I put all the cables, okay, attached, okay, as you can tell there. There more, more cables and the cable coming from the engine goes that way and here is the control ear okay the small control ear is over there now as you can see, tell also there are three cables that I not using this is the PAS pedal assist system For, uh, because we don't have any pedals in a kick bike we don't use that and the other two I didn't use they are the for the sensor for the brakes, okay? Because I'm using the original brakes that came with the bike. Many people ask, is this legal? At least in Europe will be legal, in my country, at least until February 2027. What things or items or lights do you need to have in order to be legal, 100%, okay? First of all, the display. Okay, in this case, the display is configurable. Now, if I go into the menu, you see it's limited in to 25 kilometers an hour here, okay, in Europe. Now you can set it up up to 40 kilometers an hour, although this engine only will be running up to 32, 33. So that is like 20 miles an hour, up to, and 25 kilometers an hour, which is like 15 miles an hour, is the limit here, okay. Now from the display you can also have a light on off light here you have it okay and the, the front catadrioptic is also mandatory this is one some, something that i put myself the bell is also mandatory i install a small bell to have place and talking about lights behind you need also a light in this case i install this light i bought that in amazon this is why I recommend always to have this kick by CTG4 because it has mood quartz and it has all the reflectors already installed, like the reflector behind, in front, in the wheels, okay, everything. Also the kickstand is mandatory, it comes, the, everything comes with the bike. And uh, everything related to the battery and the battery adapter, okay, that will be described in the next video where I am going to build an electrical legal pedal assist bike. On the other side, you see this is the cable coming out of the control gear, going this way, all inside to the battery. So there are two sizes of batteries that I recommend. This is the 5 ampere hour battery. With this one you can do up to 16 kilometers or let's say 10 miles, okay, with a 75 kilo adult. 
and the other size I will recommend it will be the 12 ampere hours battery with this one you can do up to 25 miles or like 40 kilometers and also you need some protections the, the helmet with light is the one I recommend I put everything as always in the description behind below this video but today I have a little surprise for you because I also built myself this let's say kick bike also so the front part is a bike from an adult and the back part is a children bike and in the middle I weld I weld it together and I just put a skater board there okay as you can tell it's very similar to the other one let me install that 12 ampere hour battery the only difference is because I made it myself, it doesn't have mood wards, so all the reflectors and all the <coughs> lights you have to be installed it that way. You see, this is more with a less quality build there, but in front also you have the light here, the bell, the reflector, everything. Everything will be the same. And I took advantage of the back provided by just power okay so in here instead of having all the cables around I put it all inside as you can tell there with everything you need inside now the only thing missing in this video will be testing the kick bike so I'm gonna do a tour already I tested for around 100 kilometers already I'm gonna be doing a tour recording my ways okay i'm putting some music and here we finish this video if you have any question please leave me those in the description and in the comments session see you guys in the next video also as well